Hi everyone, welcome back to The Pressing Matters. I'm Scott, and thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your support. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll be sure to get all the new content that's coming up. So the Eagle has landed, and the self-titled is in-house. This is Eagles, or actually Eagles. Someone uh, told me recently it's not the Eagles, it's Eagles. So uh, it's kind of automatic to refer to them as the Eagles, but that's incorrect. So um, this is a 1972 release by Glenn Johns uh, Engineering, and who is famous for many other uh, classic rock albums, including Who's Next. I um, had ordered both of the, these, uh, One Steps This and Desperado, but I um, decided to cancel Desperado, not only because I'm not the hugest Eagles fan, not only because of the cost, um, part of it was the content. I wasn't as enamored with uh, Desperado as I was with the first album. And um, I'm sure I'm going to regret that, <laughs> but uh, the Desperado album, actually, I recall was um, actually on the Absolute Sound Super Disc list way back. So it must have some really good sonic qualities, but um, I just decided to get this one. Space is also an issue on this because, you know, I've collected most of the one steps. I, I um, skipped Abraxas, I missed, um, and I skipped Stevie Ray Vaughan and Blood, Sweat, and Tears, because I'm not a fan of those. And so Desperado is the fourth one I won't have, but even so, I still have a shelf full of boxes. And that was one of the reasons I said, you know, I have to be a little more choosy. So this is um, how the box comes. Pretty good reproduction of the cover, silver, uh, gold embossing, velvety touch. Um, Easy to get fingerprints on. Uh, this is 00261 of 10,000, which just means the box was stickered number 261. Um, you lift off the lid, cover as I showed you. Um, foam insert. This is the actual content of the inserts. This is like a gatefold. And this is a, another image on a card. I wasn't sure what this was until someone told me. It is a cactus. This is um, the one step explanation process, as you probably know. Two, steps are removed from the process, bringing you uh, closer to the master tape sound and also uh, lowering the noise floor, supposedly. Um, inside you get the two jackets. Uh, had a little problem with mine. They came like this. Um, that happens sometimes. It's happened to me a couple times. Uh, Mofi, or actually Music Direct, has taken care of that, that immediately for me on a couple of occasions and you know um, they have addressed problems before with the jackets uh, originally it was a scuffing because it was a different material uh, on the jackets um, they fixed that and you know maybe they can fix this other issue I don't know logistically how difficult it is to have the factory ship them like this instead rather than just shipping out you know a few split seam cover replacements, but uh, thought I'd mention that. Um, this is the uh, Neotech vinyl, which generally I'm very impressed with. Um, something happened with this first disc. It's got uh, some noise that can't be removed. And uh, so I've requested a replacement for that as well. So I, uh, disc two is, is fine, uh, flat, centered, quiet, sounds great. But um, 
you know, if you order these from the sources, MoFi or Music Direct, they are really good about replacing these things if you need them replaced. So don't be afraid to ask if you, if you get something that's a little substandard because um, these things happen, it's vinyl, it's not, you know, it's not guaranteed that you're gonna get everything perfect. So we like to get close to perfect, especially with the one steps because of the premium price tag. So overall, um, I was impressed very impressed with the sound. Um, I have only uh, a Greatest Hits compilation to compare it to. Uh, the last time I had another um, Eagles record was a 45 of Witchy Woman that I used to play when I only played 45s when I was like 12 or 13. And I liked that one a lot. Uh, that was in the 45 format as well. But um, this sounds very impressive. Uh, I've never heard, I mean, I'm most familiar with these first two tracks on, on side one. So I use that kind of as my reference against the original, uh, the greatest hits pressing. And it sounded way more involving on, on the one step, of course. Uh, it has a really wide sound stage, great separation in the vocals in the background. <clears throat> um, you can kind of pick out individual voices which was nice. Uh, the guitars, uh, the acoustic guitars really ring and sound very accurate and very real. Uh, the whole, the bass is very deep. The whole, the whole, um, the whole production just seems involving. And it was a great listen. It was a great listen. Um, maybe the I know that MoFi sort of gave up the smiley faced EQ mastering uh, of the past where it was really kind of exaggerated highs and, and boosted bass. Um, this might be like a little, a little smirk, a little bit of a smile. Um, I felt like maybe compared to the greatest hits that that was the case. I don't know if it's the one step, what it is, but it, it definitely has a little more oomph in the, in the extreme uh, high and low. But um, it still sounds fantastic. And, you know, I don't think I've ever heard it sound better. And I don't think I ever need another copy because I think they've nailed it. I think they've nailed it. And it's, you know, if, if you're an Eagles fan, this is a wonderful time for you to be uh, involved in record collecting because they just got the contract to do six uh, one steps of the Eagles. So. Uh, there's going to be a lot of good, good stuff coming up for you. And um, I will definitely pick up a few more, uh, probably one of these nights in Hotel California at the very least. But um, yeah, overall, this is a success. It's a, it's a success. And um, the few little problems aside, they're, you know, annoying, but, you know, they can be remedied fairly quickly. So um, don't hesitate to get it. Well, actually, it's sold out now, but... This, this video, you know, you'd have to get this video out on the day of release so someone could actually pick it up. But um, hopefully you got one. If you haven't, um, it's still worth getting on the secondary market if it's not marked up too much, I would say. Uh, if you love the Eagles, you're going to love this one. So that's my take on it. Um, thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.